there's none better than Aaron Rodgers taking a massive L. This last weekend in the Playoffs Divisional Round against the San Francisco 49ers has massive implications for the Detroit Lions and the NFC North as a whole. Will Aaron Rodgers leave the Green Bay Packers? We're going to talk about it as well as turmoil in the NFC North. A lot of things taking place in the North, and the Lions seem to be the stabilized franchise. We're going to get into that. Matthew Stafford won And he's one step close to the Super Bowl. We're going to talk about the draft status and what it means for the Detroit Lions, where they pick all that. And Aaron Glenn, he interviewed for the Denver Broncos. We're going to give you an update of how that went. But before we get into this video, if you think it'd be a real smart idea to go ahead and storm Area 51 by yourself, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we talk all things Detroit Lions news and rumors. And sometimes you can get hit point blank range. Also, Make sure you take that like button with you to Area 51 while you're storming it so that thing can get obliterated as well. Let's get into today's Lions news. This is LeGarrette Blunt here, man, three-time Super Bowl champion. I just want to give you a shout-out to the YouTube channel, Micro Mike, man. Eddie Murray, former Detroit Lion. Make sure you watch Micro Mike on YouTube. Calvin Johnson Jr. here, uh, a.k.a. Megatron. Big shout-out to Micro Mike and YouTube channel, man. Keep on talking to everything Detroit Lions, and I just got to remind you, man, happy wife, happy life. Are you a Matthew Stafford fan? Do you want this guy to win it all? Go win the Super Bowl. Does that make you feel that's something that's good and it would be good for your fandom? Let me know in the comment section why for yes and for no. Or do you want him to lose for draft status? I personally want him to lose because I want my draft picks. But hey, look, I'm just one guy. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Let's turn this into a little bit of a poll. We have a bet on the back end of the fellas. 50-50 split for the fandom. Some say 50-50. Some say 75-25 of loving Stafford and hating Stafford. Let's see what you guys think. Again, Matthew Stafford won beating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady in a thrilling game. Came down to the last second. Crazy. As we know, Stafford did his epic comeback, so we've seen it a million times. And when they had the 40-some seconds on the clock, I was like, yeah, I've seen this before. But with his winning... It means something for the Detroit Lions draft picks. Right now, as it stands, the Detroit Lions will pick no earlier than 29 in the 2022 NFL Draft with their second first round pick. So if Stafford loses in this upcoming draft, we'll get closer. But if he wins, it's going to be 31 or 32 if he makes it to the Super Bowl. This has a lot of implications because we're looking at players to get such as Devin Lloyd, linebacker, Nicobe Dean, linebacker out of Georgia, Drake London, a lot of good players that now looks like potentially could not be there if the Lions pick where we're at right now. I mean, these guys are going to be coveted. A lot of teams would like to get some wide receivers and some linebackers, and as he continues to win, the talent gets a little bit less and less. Now, there's definitely some talent out there for the Lions. They could go quarterback if Sam Howell's there. They could <clears throat> get lucky and maybe a Drake London falls there. David Bell, wide receiver, who I really do like. Maybe a Lloyd does fall, but every time you get pushed back, it's one chance less of getting somebody who you may covet. So it's a real big deal for the Lions of how this thing plays out. Either way, we're going to take the spot that we get but I'm ready to know where we pick in this draft. Aaron Glenn had an interview for the Denver Broncos head coaching job, and there's a little bit of worry that potentially he could be gone as Lions coach and get a head coaching job. Why? Because he did an excellent job for the Lions defense. He was one of the best coaches on this team. He worked great with talent, maybe not to the level that you would expect, and he's all around a leader of men. So he got the opportunity to get some opportunities to interview for a head coaching job. But per reports, it looks like he's not in the mix to get the head coaching job for the Denver Broncos. I kind of expected this because we're talking about a first-year coordinator. Generally, you want to give him a couple years, see if it was an anomaly, or see if this is a trend. 
And if you're a team who's trying to get a head coach, you want to get it right. So this is somewhat expected from my um, from my opinion. I kind of expected this. But, you know, look, I would love for him to get a job at some point. He's one of my favorite coaches. But I am a little bit of selfish here, and I want him to stay our coordinator because he's such a great coordinator. He's a great leader of men. He really took this defense and took it to the next level with players we're talking about on the practice squad, and we didn't even know who they were. So Aaron Glenn is a magician, and I'm happy that he did not get the job in a selfish reasons. It's only a matter of time, though, before this man gets a job, but it definitely looks like he's returning for the 2022 NFL season as our coordinator, and that spells great news for the Lions defense. Wait till we get the personnel, folks, on this defense, and we get even better in the draft. Man, Aaron Glenn, he's going to be lighting it up, man. I can't wait. I can't wait to see this defense take that next step. I can't wait to see Aaron Glenn coaching the Detroit Lions defense in 2022. Let me know in the comment section, are you selfish like me? Do you want Aaron Glenn to stay Detroit Lions defensive coordinator? Why for yes and for no. Aaron freaking Rodgers, the man who's been destroying us for years, took a massive L. Shout out to the San Francisco 49ers. Shout out to you guys for making a man really happy it was glorious to see Aaron Rodgers lose again to the 49ers on a home game when they were the number one seed. It was glorious. And I watched the press conference of Aaron Rodgers talking. He made a statement that he wants nothing to do with the rebuild, folks. Nothing to do with the rebuild in Green Bay Packers. He's going to make up a decision if he wants to leave, if he wants to retire, if he wants to stay. But I think it feels like it that this is an end of an era of Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay because he doesn't want to rebuild. Folks, right now they're 50 million over the cap. Five zero million over the cap. Devontae Adams, all these players with contracts. <laughs> if Aaron Rodgers leaves, and it's possible the Green Bay Packers could be in full on rebuild mode. You heard it right. That Green Bay Packers on rebuild mode. We've been destroyed by Brett Favre. We've been destroyed by Aaron Rodgers. Look, Bar Star, I was way before my time. But I've been dealing with these two quarterbacks my entire life. 30 years! I'm 36! End of an era could be taking place. Green Bay could be in rebuild mode. And that brings me to my next question. NFC North is up in the air. Why do I say this? Well, if... The Green Bay Packers do rebuild mode. Very possible. That would be the Green Bay Packers a rebuild mode. The Minnesota Vikings got fired. Their head coach and their general manager. The Chicago Bears the same. The Detroit Lions last year did their year one rebuild. We started early in the NFC North. And we did pretty good with the draft. Now the Detroit Lions, we got a nice draft. We got 10 picks right now. We got some money in free agency. Could the Detroit Lions take the step? Can we have a chance to actually compete for the NFC North title? Well, look at the San Francisco 49ers last year. They was cheeks. Now they're in the NFC, or the NFC championship. We seen the, the Cincinnati Bengals watching them. First pick two years ago. Fifth pick this last year in the AFC Championship. Can the Detroit Lions, can the Detroit Lions come out of the ashes, the depths of despair, and be a competent team in the NFC North and potentially win it? Man, oh man, it's possible. It's possible. I'm going to wait and reserve my judgment, but I tell you what, this is the happiest I've been in a long time being in the NFC North. I've hated going against these teams, specifically the Green Bay Packers. And now, we have some hope, folks. A lot of things taking place that's good for our Detroit Lions. This is going to be a great offseason. So far, this offseason is about as perfect as it possibly could be. And I'm excited. Let me know in the comment section. Are you excited 
about this offseason. What do you think? Can the Detroit Lions make some noise in the NFC North? We're the stable regime right now. Who would have thunk it that we're the stable regime right now? But we are. Let me know what you guys think. He's seen a mock draft. Daniel Jeremiah of the NFL Network. He has the Detroit Lions taking Malik Wills quarterback with the second first round pick. Now we've seen a trend now because Mel Kuyper Jr. has us taking Sam Howell. A lot of these experts thinks that the Detroit Lions are going to select a quarterback in this year's draft, in which I personally would not care. You all know I like Malik Willis. I like Sam Howell. I don't believe Malik Willis is going to be there, in all honesty, uh, at the Lions pick. I think he potentially could be the first the second quarterback taken in this year's draft. There's a lot of teams that need a quarterback. But this is just a trend we're seeing from the experts out there saying the Lions are taking a quarterback. There could be some legitimacy to this. Still, I believe that Brad Holmes will just go ahead and take the best player available. In all honesty, and we don't know who that is at this point. We may not have an opportunity to get the wide receiver that we want or the linebacker that we covet or the, the safety as well. So it could be a quarterback. But I'm going to go ahead and reserve judgment for Brad Holmes. He's done a really good job so far in the draft. But a lot of trends are saying the Lions take a quarterback. And that's very interesting because we've seen Jared Goff progress last year. We'll see. I just don't believe Malik Wills. I'm going to give you my personal I don't believe he's going to be there at that pick. That is my personal opinion. You'd, I think you'd have to trade up if you want to get a Malik Wills at this point. The Senior Bowl is coming up. We are going to be coaching Malik Willis, Bailey Zappi, and Sam Howell. So we'll have an up-close view of these guys and we're going to be talking about the senior bowl quite a bit a lot of implications for the detroit Lions, massive and hopefully we can get some interviews of some of these prospects from the senior bowl that would be really nice in this channel and and talk to these guys one-on-one -on -one. but what do you guys think do you guys want to draft a quarterback in the draft check out lions nation night app lionsnationnight.com it is a awesome app Make sure you add me on there. I'm on there dropping content every day. I'm going to try to make some individual content just for Lions Nation uh, Unite app because that's the way to go. You can follow them at Lions Nation U and on their YouTube channel, Lions Nation Unite. Let them know Micro Mike sent you so they understand that your boy is doing his job. In the upcoming videos, we've got the One Pride podcast on my channel, 6.30 p.m. every single Thursday. It's going to be a fun one. Got some special guests coming up. It's going to be great. I'm going to get my guy from Chat Sports up on here, Harrison Graham. We're going to get at it. Also, make some great comments. He'll be featured on the mailbag video. And any breaking news, we got that on this channel. Any rumors, we got this on this channel in the NFL Draft, Free Agency, and Senior Bowl. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get to 20,100 subscribers. You guys got me to 20K. A massive shout-out to you. I'll be doing something fun on OPP on Thursday. <laughs>